You're listening to Capital Extra Breakfast. What's going on? It's Robert Bruce and Shayna Marie, and we are very gassed this morning. We have got such a treat for you, as this morning we are joined by... One of the UK rap game's finest in the studio right now. His CV knows no bounds. He's a filmmaker, entrepreneur, actor, and of course, a rapper. From Church Road to Hollywood, one foot in, one foot out, escaping the crabs in the bucket, bringing us the trilogy. Crop circle free in the building. It's nice, Woo! everybody! Oh, you got my CV sound in there. It's clean. <laughs> it's clean. It's clean. It's very clean, man. It is. But first of all, two projects, one year work crate, man. What are you, t- what are you telling us? How come we're back outside so soon? Studio, man. man. I got a song called Tap Tower, my last album. Kind of explains all of that. Makes sense, man. And did you think, like, 11 years, I think, Church Road to Hollywood was? 11 years. Did you think you'll still be making music now? Like, nah. Really? <laughs> So, no, nah, I didn't think that, no. Nah. Really? So what made you start and then how have we got here this far? Like, why have you kept going? <sighs> My passion for it is probably why I kept, kept going, but starting the same thing, really. I had a passion for music and just jumped on it. Yeah, yeah. Passion for music and passion for directing. Your first debut was in 2018. And since then, we've got a film for each Crop Circle project. What's the inspiration behind this one? We're on number three now. What's the difference between this one and the rest? You're not, like, elevating, then you're not doing the right thing. So, like, from Crop Circle 1 to now, like, I've learned a lot, I guess, in it. So hopefully it shows in this new short film... Took a risk, I guess, because it's not like a street one, but hopefully everyone knows I'm just trying in and I'm still learning on the job. Okay, so it's a little bit different, this one, then. Yeah, I would say that, yeah. One thing we have seen online, though, what? Ten gallon of Sprinter, you're not impressed? Like, what's going <laughs> on, bro? <laughs> you, know what? you know what's funny? Them, man, they DM me, you know? Shout out to them, man. That's my little bros, man. I was just bannering stuff. <laughs> what did they say? Were they offended? Nah, they weren't offended, but they probably was slightly <laughs> for them to DM me. <laughs> now that to come and just let you know, like, big bros around, like, <laughs> we've been doing this. Just... Sort of thing. Come on, come on. <laughs> also, we want to clear this up. There's, like, rumours, um, collab mixtape, you and Fredo, people are talking about that as well. Is it something in the works? Do you think we'll see that? It's Fredo, that man. Oh, so Fredo's holding up. He's holding up the process then. He's the big man over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're waiting on him. We're waiting on him. Hopefully we get that. Uh, Daily Duppy, you did that. It's officially the highest charting Daily Duppy of all time. So congratulations. And it was your, you. it's your first one, your long awaited Daily Duppy. Do accolades like that matter to you? You know, it's done so well. It's your first one. Were you nervous? Did you feel like this has got to be, this has got to get the yeah. highest chart in? I ain't feel no pressure, no. I wasn't expecting it to do what it done. But mm. yeah, I just done a thing, innit? What's next on your on your bucket list? What are you, what else would you like to achieve? I don't know, man, but I can promise everyone my next album will be my last one. So uh, confirmed. Uh, That's a fact. Ah, uh, why though? Why? It's that in it? They, they, come on, not even what can't even get like an EP. <laughs> what you say? What singles and features? Everything done on no more albums. I don't know. I just know I'm doing my last album. I might drop a sixteen on. Someone's album in the future or something, but as for my my um, album making, yeah, I'm wrapping up at ten. I think it'll be ten because I class my mixtapes as albums. So I'm seeing you watching Arsenal more these days. A few years ago, it weren't really like that. What we happy over them sides, <laughs> bro? That, that's cap. I was I was the only man in the up in the Emirates at a stage. Not the only, but like last season when it looked like it was about to win the league. I'm seeing the whole beta squads, <laughs> being people that I don't see when it was in the Europa Cup. But like, nah, man, I've been there. So you've you start you've been sticking with I've Arsenal. I've been holding it down. Man. In Arteta, we I, trust. I bought Arsenal chain when we was done yeah. out here. It's very, that, that is true. Yeah, that is true. yeah, yeah. So I come to you as a humble Man United fan. Now, what advice do you have for us? How do we get through these times, bro? <laughs> I can see is you lot are doomed, man. <laughs> Dread. Don't worry, we'll, we'll rise up again. We will be back. We will be back for sure, for sure, for sure, man. One day, man. One day, innit? Talk to us about the album, though. Bear tracks on there. A lot of the track list people are going crazy for. What is this album about? Talk to us. I guess it's a bit more like old nines with a bit of new commercial still, I guess, because like. I remember my last album came up, Crop Circle 2, and one of my friends, he's actually here, but I think he's in the next room or something, but he was playing my old mixtape, one of them, and he's like, oh, you can't punch line like that no more. And I was trying to explain to him, of course I can, I just didn't want to, like, 
Same thing I was telling Paul Paper, like, you can do all that punchline metaphor stuff. I'm just trying to make certain type of songs. But I just had to prove to them, like, this album, <laughs> man still got it like that. Say no more, say no more. Nines, we want to get to know you a little bit better on the show. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock and ask you as many questions as we can in that time. you got to answer. First thing that comes to your mind, quick fire round. You're not, you're not going to rig the questions or ask me that I'm funny. Yeah? <laughs> no, 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 man, no, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. <clears throat> What's your go-to program to binge? Young Sheldon, I binge. <laughs> Young Sheldon? <laughs> yeah, I'm Channel 4 in them, man. <laughs> 60 seconds with nines. Three, two, one. What is your all-time favourite fragrance? No, I use it every day. I don't know what it's called, is it? John, what, is John? It? what is it? What is it? I smell like it right now. <laughs> we're we're going to find it. We're, we're going to find, find it. it. It's crazy, no. <laughs> <laughs> I use it every day. What's your go-to program to binge? Young Sheldon, I binge. Uh, <laughs> Young Sheldon? <laughs> yeah, it's a wicked Is channel. So. I'm Channel 4 and them, man. <laughs> what was the last concert you went to? Beyonce. Is it? When? Because someone was like, yo, what do you mean you've never been to a concert? I'm bringing you to Beyonce. I went to when she was in West Ham one time. Is it? So Beyonce is the one concert that Nice has been to. Yeah. That's, That's crazy. <laughs> uh, proudest moment of your career so far? Keep my family happy, I guess. Nice. When I say scraps, what's the first lyric that comes to mind? Dipping in the beam, really. <laughs> <laughs> what one item that you own that you could not live without? Same as you, my phone right now. <laughs> it's a madness if I get that. If your girl said, I'm going to the Usher show, what would your response be? Thing, man, I'm coming, I like Usher. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you in the car, you got a long drive ahead and you want to sing along. What song are you going for? Scraps, is it? Go on, plug in my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, what are you currently grateful for in life? Oh, from family, isn't it? So what are we saying? Crop Circle free? Is it a premiere again? You know the premieres, you always come fresh. Like, Should sure you pull up, man? Thursday, I know it's short notice, but you're, you're welcome to pull up. So what, is that? Is the outfit sorted? No, oh, you're not even too busy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Hopefully I can do that today. So. <laughs> When it comes to premieres, do you, do you, obviously, you're always, I feel like, you put out music, you put out albums, you're always star of the show. When it comes to premieres, like red carpet, rollout, paparazzi, everyone's there, do you, do you feel a bit pressure? And then you're watching the film on screen, do you get nervous? This one, I'm, I was telling someone I might just sit outside the cinema. <laughs> like I said, it's no street stuff. So it's, not, it's a lot of cannabis in it, so that should get me through. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, man's rush, not rush to film, but. I got edited today, like we just finished filming it yesterday. No mad. way. Mad. All right, mad, mad, mad. We're looking forward to it big time, man. We are. Now, Nines, we mentioned you are a man of many talents filmmaker, entrepreneur, actor, rapper. We wanted to put some familiar faces to you and see how you would cast them in any future crop circle projects, whatever that may be. Yeah? You ready? All right, cool. Person number one, how would you cast Sir David Attenborough in crop circle? Like that Morgan Freeman type narration, <laughs> narration. It? Come on, you don't know one's got a voice like him. Come on, coming from like the skies and that. You have Come David Attenborough on. doing stuff like this. Was I frightened? Was I concerned? Not at all. Not for a microsecond. Enter nines. Yeah. <laughs> that would work, right? That could run, that could run. Okay, how about this one? Arsenal manager, Mikel Arteta. He can direct, star in it, whatever. He's a big man, isn't he? That's the goal. <laughs> All right, whatever Arteta wants to do. You know, when I met my wife uh, at the beginning, it was hard, you know, to, to conquer her. <laughs> okay, how, what, would, what would that line, how would that line sit in Crop Circle? I don't know, he'll be just spitting game to the young boys that are going through their love troubles <laughs> <laughs> or something yeah. like that. It'll have to yeah. be something like that. All right, cool, who do we have next? Megan the Stallion. Where would she fit in Crop Circle? Right, Arteta, she can do it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there, got, there must you must have something. Envision Megan, like what's Megan doing? What's what's she wearing? She could be like in crop circle too. That there was girls like on the estate like shouting at you. Maybe she could be um, one of them. Man, man, rate Megan, isn't it? Like I said, <laughs> she can do it. <laughs> if somebody try to play with me nine times out of ten, they gonna get their feelings hurt. You want to make me jealous? Not gonna work. <laughs> I can envision that. I can see that. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. And uh, finally, we saved the best till last. Last? Us, Robert Bruce and Shayna Marie. Where would we fit in Crop Circle, which we are still waiting for the call for? Nance. How about next film? You look, give me a cameo. How about that? Aye, yeah. I'll, I'll, yes. I'll hold yeah. you to that, you know. Aye. I'll hold you to it. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> yeah. Let me get my outfit now. Nance, what's the rest of the plans for you for the rest of the year? 
relax, man, chill, go on holiday. Been working hard. Enjoyment. <laughs> Enjoyment. But we've got a film early next year, you're saying? So when we start shooting, when do we start? I need to put it in my <laughs> calendar now, you? yeah. Do you know what's funny? Cause I keep telling everyone, Jan, yeah. Feb, Nathan's like, please tell everyone much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've been working hard still, yeah. so... Say it over, and we're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to Crop Circle Free as well. Make sure you watch it if you're listening right now. In the studio with us, Capital Extra Breakfast. It's nines, everybody! Yeah!